Hey there. Coach C again. Thanks for stepping by. I'm just kind of on a roll with a couple different things. So you'll probably see me in the same outfit, but videos posted different days. It's okay. Just come hang out with me in my backyard. This is one that's like a vertical section I had in an old routine a long time ago. So basically the idea is to come around, up and down. Okay, so this was taught to us, I wanna say we took a camp. But if you start at a left shoulder, not left shoulder, but a left slam. So this is your right slam. This is your left slam. You're going to come up. Let the pole go all the way around. So it's kind of like you're breaking your wrist in here. This, it's gonna swish up. When it gets to here, you come down. So that is the hardest part of that move, okay? All right, so again, this is gonna go up, around, and grab. And you're grabbing it like right in the pole, right here. All right, so I'm gonna do that facing the other way so you can see. So this is my left hand, this is my right hand. I'm going to go up, the pole comes up and around. And grab it in here. Okay, again, from the side, if you wanna see it from the side, this goes up, the pole comes around and grab. Okay, and then from this side, if you wanna see it from what this side would look like, it goes up, around and grab. So if you notice, I try to stay in that poster. Okay, so it's not a horizontally thing. It's more of, a, you know, in the toaster in this plane. So you can see that flag really opening up both times to the front and the back. Okay, now once you grab it, you can choose to spin in a circle or do a walking turn and then bring it out. I usually, I usually brought it out out and up and back and then I would turn come around again and then I would pop a toss now you could also pop a toss off of the first part so for example up around grab you could from here spin and in the grass I'm not spinning really fast and I just stepped on it whoops and then plant your feet so my feet are usually like in some kind of position like this for lyrical. So you've got your what? First position, right? Second position. You know what all those ballet positions are, right? So I'm back here with my right foot forward when I'm doing that toss, okay? And I also like to do it to an angle. So I would actually have everyone step back and then here's their corner of their box. And then we would pop this out here. Okay, now this is sort of like the 45 without it being like, I call this one actually the unicorn toss, the one where you're up here behind your head. The one I'm showing you now is just basically taking it from here, pulling it out, staying in that 45, letting go, letting it spin around, and then catching it. Okay, so to get used to what's going to happen, I would suggest you're here, I'm going to pull it out across this thing. This angle, cross your toes, pretend it's spinning. You can actually, if you don't want to toss, you can grab it thumbs upside down and then around. And then you let it kind of like flip around in your hand. So how I did that, again, if you don't want to toss, you come up, I grab under like a money hand. When I get to here, I let it roll on my hand and then I bring it back down. So that's what this would look like if you didn't want to toss it. Okay, so if you want to add the toss, you're here, you're going to pull it up and let go, and it comes up, it just goes in the air. So it's just a little lofty toss, unless you want to make it bigger, but it's just a little air, just a little air, okay? All right, so the beginning of that again, in case I lost you, sorry, I got distracted by tossing. You're going to come up, back around, and grab. And then you can spin. I would spin quickly and then plant. And then from there, toss or do the money hand and flip. All right, so I'm gonna show you what I did originally as well, which, okay, so this part here, you come up, circle down, come up and around. Again, up, circle. 
right? If you need help or more explanation, leave me some comments. Um, but that one is basically like if you take your hand, you come up, break that wrist, pop it up, and then let the flag fall back down. So here, pop it up and down. Okay, now, I like to do, with that one, we were running. <laughs> we were actually running. All right, so we were like, here we are, blah, blah, blah. And then we went around and in. Okay, so around and in. Now from here, this is what we did, we kept running. So we brought it here, laid it on our arm, circled around. Now, here's the thing people don't do. Like if you're doing lyrical, a lot of times people will be like, hey, I'm here, I'm running. And then before you know it, your flag is all twisted up or it's Q-tipped. Um, but what, what I suggest, okay, so you're here. When pe we brought it down, we had a little, like, little figure eight to the back that helps to unswirl that flag. So if you notice, I'm here, push and turn. So my flag actually followed itself, okay? So the big thing is to work on that with your group so that you're all doing the same size loop because you will have people who will be like, ah! Oh! Okay, so if that's what you want, that's great, but make sure you're all doing the same thing, okay? So again, we're here, we're gonna go up and around. I pulled it out, grabbed it the third, placed it on my arm, brought it up. I'm going to come to the side, make it look pretty, and then you can come around to the front and lunge and turn. All right, so how that whole section looks, if I was coming forward, like on the field or across the field or across the gym floor, it would look like this. So one, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. Six, one, three, four, five, six, out. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. We actually did that to something that was six counts, which is why I counted like that. So make sure you know what your counts are because that's gonna help you. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and where your accent is of your music. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye.